Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see from the thumbnail, in this video I'm gonna go over my new bike. Let's get right into it. So this is my new indoor cycle, and it is the Schwinn IC8, which is the European version of the Schwinn IC4 for the US. So it's the exact same bike, uh, just a different number at the end there. So I got this bike for two reasons. The first is that I live in England and it's August, and they have a popular saying here for this time of the year. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. And winter is coming. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. And the second is that, yes, I'm officially a dad, but I don't think I'm quite ready to accept the uh, dad bod yet. So, got to keep working on this, even in the winter time and when it looks like this outside. Or, especially now that the sun's going down earlier, it's going to start looking like this. And that's just no fun for uh, running or doing any kind of outdoor exercise uh, in the mornings or when I get off of work in the evening. So I've had the bike for just two weeks now and already it's been awesome. It's been great being able to walk downstairs in the morning or when I get home and the weather's lousy, I can just change, jump on the bike and get a good workout in. And I've been playing around with two different apps. I wanna kind of walk you through them and show you the setup that I have here. Before I show you the apps though, I just wanna show you the workspace that I have in the living room here. I've got the bike off to the side and it's tucked away over by the bar. And then on the opposite side, we've got Porter's Swing. And then I've got our uh, coffee table here in the middle. Um, fan on the side there. That's definitely needed when you're cycling indoors, especially when it's been uh, pretty toasty here the last couple of weeks. So the bike itself has two wheels in the front. And the idea is that you could lift up at the seat and then kind of pivot around and swing it out to wherever you need it. But one of the first things I did is I got these furniture movers that just sit at the feet and they're just little circles with a plastic bottom and uh, it allows me to be able to just grab the bike and just drag it. I can even do this one-handed and just kind of swing it out to where I need it. Just makes it easier to pull it out in the middle of the living room and just have it in position and when I'm done, just push it right back, no problem. This is the setup here then when I've got the table moved back and I just got the bike in the center and all set, ready to ride. So the first app I wanna run through is the Peloton app and what I'm doing here is I've got my iPad Air that's just in the tablet holder and that's what I like about this bike and kind of help cut down the cost. It didn't have a dedicated display screen. So you can use your phone or a tablet or whatever you want. Now the Peloton app, you only have to pay $12 a month and you get all the different classes that are offered. For this one, I'm obviously just focused on cycling. And since there's not a dedicated Apple TV app, what I have to do is just screen mirror it. So just pull it down from the main menu, screen mirror to living room and then it pops right up. You can use your tablet, and it's definitely big enough to be able to do the classes from uh, by itself, but I just like having the TV. And then you just go through, and I'm learning now uh, how to filter through the rides just based on what I wanna do. I haven't done any live classes, but I've just gone through the pre-recorded ones and uh, just try and find one. What I've been doing is doing about 45 minutes to an hour workout, and uh, those seem to be working well in the morning. So really enjoy it, but you just grab it and then uh, it'll give you the details. If you've ever seen the app, uh, you're familiar with it and understand how it works. Uh, and then just hit start and go through it. So with this bike, it does have a screen with it and it'll track all your basics. So just your RPMs, uh, power output, the mileage, um, it can do your pulse, that kind of stuff. Uh, and it's all Bluetooth. So it's really nice because what I like with the Peloton app is it'll register and it'll pull up for the cadence. So then I use my Apple Watch with an app called Blue Heart and that'll be able to sync my heart rate. So it's nice because I start the app on my phone, it registers because my Apple Watch is already picking up my heart rate and then it pulls it right up on the screen. So super easy, I love how everything's integrated. Apple talks to each other and the Peloton app uh, works really well. I haven't had any issues with it streaming or uh, kind of buffering as it's doing the AirPlay. Uh, just really seems to work well. 
Okay, moving on, the second app that I'm really enjoying is called Full Gas. And again, I hope I'm saying that right. But this one's nice because it actually has an Apple TV app. So when you open it up, what this app is, is it's cyclists that have attached a GoPro to their bike. They've run different courses, and then you kind of get that virtual feel. So you can uh, just do these fun rides from all around the world. And uh, for the nicer bikes, you can control your resistance, and it'll go as you're going uphill, it'll change. Uh, but for this bike, it doesn't pick that up. It'll only pick up my cadence and heart rate, kind of like the Peloton app. So I would just have to change the resistance uh, and kind of give myself a more challenging ride or, you know, just based on uh, the terrain, what you're doing. So this is also a subscription and I forgot the price, but I'll put it in the description. Uh, it's not that expensive, but for the rides, it's so cool. It's just really nice being able to do them. This one also gives you the option to download the rides, which I definitely found was beneficial because I was uh, having buffering issues when I was just trying to play them and stream them right from the service. So by downloading them, uh, I can go through the ride and you can go up to 4K on these. So very high resolution. And it's just, it's bizarre. It just gives you that feeling, even though with the bike right in front of the TV, that you're actually on the trail and doing the ride. And uh, it's really cool. I love it. I'll show you guys a clip of this ride, but this is one I did the other day after work, and it's the Sydney Harbor. It was really good. It was an hour ride and uh, covered a distance of 11.85 miles. Um, just really felt like we were in Sydney. It was cool. So when I was talking before about those cold, rainy, dark winters in England, this is an app I definitely think I'm going to get some use out of because I can just find a sunny beach in California and do a cool trail ride and uh, it just kind of gets your headspace in there like you're somewhere warmer or, uh, you know, it's just not so dark and, uh, and miserable. <laughs> I definitely think the next step for these indoor cycles then is going to be some kind of headset like VR where you could just totally immerse yourself in the environment that you're in, but that might be a little too much. Maybe with the motion and riding, I don't know, one day. So this is a really brief video. Just wanted to go through the new cycle, kind of show you the setup, and I will definitely be doing some updates as I get a lot more rides in. I'll tell you more about the apps as I learn about them, and maybe if you've got some other ones you've heard of, uh, leave them down in the comments below and let us know. Uh, I know Chelsea's going to jump on this as well too, so I'm definitely interested in seeing how she enjoys it. Thank you so much for clicking on the video and watching this one. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and uh, make sure you follow us for future adventures. Catch you in the next one, guys.